What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in once again. This is another one of Hoggy's Beer Reviews, but this isn't just a regular beer review. No, this is a homebrew review. And not just any old homebrew, but a homebrew from my man, Dorf68. That's right, master brewer. Homebrew master, Dorf. You know, if you're a YouTube regular, you know who Dorf is. Dorf is my homeboy, Dorf's up in uh, Washington State, and Dorf is making some good goddamn beer. Um, we did a little business transaction because I had to get a hold of his latest batch of the Dorfentine Triple X Ale. Been wanting to try this for quite some time. Um, the label says it best. Dorfentine Triple X Ale, 6.2% alcohol by volume, 22 ounce bottle. Um, you know, he sent this to me in a beer mail along with some other goodies here. Um, and, and the 40, I asked for the 40, so disregard that. I had to get a 40, you know, some, you know, you know, they don't sell 40s in Florida. What can I do? But he also sent me a bottle of his Eupinator Double Bock. I'll be trying that soon. Uh, a pepperoni stick, some turbo flamas, more on those later. A copy of the uh, Northwest Brewing Muse, that's there. And this little opener from Homebrew Heaven. So check this out. We got the Dorfentine Triple X Ale that I've been dying to try. We have the opener from Homebrew Heaven. And we have the dead guy glass. Just cause. Because I know Dorf got one, that's why. But it's my dead guy glass. So enough talking, let's get right to the Dorfentine Triple X Ale. And you know what? I wanted to drink this today. I'm looking shabby, I need a haircut, I'm tired. I screwed up shaving and my mustache is not the way I'd like it to be. I don't even feel like doing a video, but I wanna drink this beer. And if I'm gonna drink this beer, I'm doing it on video, I'm reviewing it because Dorf deserves the props, because I know this is gonna be good. So, and off the cap goes. Ooh, ooh, bubble, bubble, slow bubble. Do something, bubble. Uh, bubble ain't doing shit, fuck that one. All right. All right. Ooh, hazy. Dorf, this is unfiltered. It ain't looks like it. All right. Oh, this is gonna be a hoppy. Oh, this is unfiltered like a motherfucker. I can't see through this goddamn beer. Yeah, I'm trying to put it up to every single light source I have, and this thing is just like this dark copper amber color, and there's no light seeping through this damn thing. This ain't hazy. This is just cloudy, thick, dark, beautiful. Take a take a look at that. Yeah, guys, that's Dorf's work right there. Look at the head on that. That's pretty. This <laughs> Dorf, really. You need to do this for a living. The smells coming up out of this thing are just citrusy, beautiful hops. For those who don't know, the man grows his own damn hops. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm fucking jealous, man. But yeah, there's a hint of malt under there. It's a rich caramelly malt, but it's 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 there. It's the, it's there and it's solid, but it's subdued, buried under the citrusy floral sweetness of these hops. He also sent me a bag of hops. They've, they've turned brown a little, but he sent me a bag full of Cascade hops. I didn't know what the hell to do with it. It looked like weed. I was like, do I smoke these things or do I do with hops? God love him though. He was showing off. Dorf, you were showing off when you sent me the hops. I know you were, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, so yeah, it smells really good. All right, so here we go. Dorf, I know you've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this, and to everybody who's considered hitting them up to try to get some of this beer, and to those of you who have already tried the Dorf in Time, here's Augie's turn. Cheers to everybody, and let's see what this is all about. I don't know what I would compare this to. This is 
Body wise, I mean, really it's thin and not in a bad way. But the body is not as hefty as you would think it is. It's easy drinking, it goes down smooth. And with all the hop aroma floating off of this beer, the hop bite, when you take that first sip, is not that strong. The hops aren't resinous, they're not killer, you know? It's good, it's good, but it's not like a hop bomb hop blast. It's not this big rich beer, you know? And when I say thin, it's not like a Bud Light. Don't ever think I mean that kind of shit. But as far as like the body and, and you know, it's, it's, it has the drinkability of a malt liquor. Maybe this was patterned after the Ballantine Ale. I've never had it, I'm not sure. I'm sure Dorf will let me know where this shit came from later. But it has the drinkability body-wise, kind of like a malt liquor. You know, you do get the carbonation prickle you know, so you get a little bit of fizz, a little bit of effervescence with that with that light medium body. So yeah, it's drinkable. The hot bite is there, but it's not overwhelming. You know, it's it's good for those who aren't used to, you know, really hoppy beers. The finish is clean. Again, another little bite from the carbonation on the way down. A little, I don't want to say little, but a bit of bitterness from the hops. It's not really resinous. Again, not like a double IPA, hop bomb kind of resiny. No. No, this, this was crafted to be mild as far as the hops, as far as the bitterness and the resin. But the aroma, that citrus floral aroma and flavor from the hops is unmistakable. Um, good job, Dorf. This is this 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 is like a pale ale with mass appeal. Um, it has enough flavor to keep guys like me interested, but it's not like super hoppy and super resinous, you know, to the point that it'll turn off the the <clears throat> the commercial mass market beer drinkers. And considering I just drank some malt liquor about an, less than an hour ago, this is what I need to cleanse my palate. Oh uh, yeah, this this is a good beer. Dorf, another solid beer, man. That's two I've had from you. I'm working on three. That one might take a while. But, dude, really, um, I'm glad that, that you've got that little business venture going. I hope it works out the best for you. You deserve it because you really know what you're doing with these beers. You know, your passion for these shows and your videos and, more importantly, in the final product. And that's straight up from Hoggy. No bullshit, man. I've had quite a few homebrews. Well, not quite a few, but I've had a handful of homebrews here and there. And some were decent. You know, some were pretty good, some were crap, but you know what, Dorf's brews just have a little extra something to them, and I honestly think, no bullshit, I know it sounds cheesy, but I think it's just the, the, the love he puts into it, because the man is actually, he wants, you know, he cares, he, he enjoys doing this kind of shit. So, you know, sweaty my man, Dorf, it's a good fucking beer, as far as home brews go, glass fucking full, Hoggy's enjoying the hell out of this, I'm gonna kill this fucking bomber. I hope I don't run too long. But see, before I kill that, I just want to throw this out there. I did the beer mail video, you know, showing everything that was in the box, including the bag of hops. What I forgot to show, I completely missed it, was this thing. This bag of turbos. Turbos. Flamas. The thing is, I've never had turbos, but I've had Doritos Flamas. Matter of fact, when I was on the road on my final leg, you know, from Georgia to Florida, I picked up a bag of the Doritos Flamas and I was eating them for about an hour until I couldn't do it anymore because it's nothing but like hot sauce and lime. But to see if these are any different and to see if they go well at all with your beer, I'm going to crack these open. Yeah, pretty much just like the Doritos. A little hot sauce, little 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 spicy hot powder, some fucking lime on a crunchy processed fucking chip thing. Nah. I'm gonna finish these though, because Dorf sent them to me. And I'm gonna finish this beer, because it's good. It's 
Screw it, man. Dorf, continue success. We'll be doing this again. The Dorf and Time Triple X Ale is a solid fucking homebrew. I hope to one day see this shit packaged in a fucking six pack and distributed in Florida. I'm asking for too much, but what the hell? Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. Dorf, thanks for the beer. Stay tuned, guys. There's a lot more coming. Salud.